Hello and welcome to this demo and condition report and today I have the Casio VL Tone model VL-1 which was the first one that Casio produced in this lineup in 1979 and it was the first commercially available digital synthesizer. Once again showing, you know, if you watch my other videos about Casio watches, it just shows how far ahead Casio are always thinking in terms of their design and innovation. So this is nice because it has the box. Uh, it's in pretty good condition for its age. You've got uh, just some, some pictures on the side and then those two are basically the same. One end has been taped up. I don't want to take that tape off because it'll take some of the surface away with it. So you've got this end that opens up. Uh, I've pressed the flaps to straighten them out as much as possible and I've just reinforced that joint there. It hadn't gone all the way through but it's just going to give it a little bit longer. There's a very small bit just where it's starting to come through so I've just reinforced the um, the hinge there on the inside. You won't, you won't see that but it's, it's better to have it than not. So it comes with this box. It also comes with this um, kind of fabric uh, Casio case so it would slide inside here of course quite a snug fit so it would be inside your case I don't know if you're taking it on the go or what, or what have you uh, I've included but not selling because uh, this this is online you can you can google uh, the manual and find a, a number of them I've just googled this printed it out uh, this one was by oldschoolsound.com they've said in in their rights um, free manuals for creative use only so that's included creative use only free this is just for the sales part if you are buying this one but anyway it's useful to have um because actually there's so many functions in this it's um, not only a synthesizer but being casio of course it's a, it's a calculator as well so moving on to the device you can see it's uh, white in color it has a, a speaker here uh, your digital display here all your keys here and then you can see beneath this kind of gives it away if I just I try and focus a little better you can see numbers along here and then you can see your mathematics buttons and then you've got your function keys reset delete tempo rhythm uh, memory cancel music auto play and at the top volume rhythm balance melody different octaves different types of sound play record calculator and off uh, on the top you also have a um, so it's a, well, AC adapter, so your DC power, and that takes uh, six volts, and it has a line out as well. Um, so what else will I show on here? So, okay, I might as well just power it on. So first step, I'll take it to, and you can see the display is absolutely fine. I've put it in the calculator mode. We've got our buttons along here. So you go two plus one equals three. So you've got your calculator there. Uh, I'll then go to the play function and you can see, and, and I'll demonstrate all the, all the buttons work. And then, so that's piano, you can go to fantasy. Violin. Flute. Guitar. And I don't know what this stands for, ADSR, but it kind of just cuts a little bit like that. It makes just a, a, an unusual sound and obviously the volume works fine, so. We've got that there um, and then I didn't I don't think I played with that there uh, okay so you've got all that kind of stuff and then what you can do is uh, do things for instance it has if I can clear all, all the memory it has a, a demonstration button just has a demonstration there uh, you can also if you go to record so if I go to record and go back to play and then uh let me remember how i do that uh, auto, there, auto, you press the auto play you see it plays back and you can also use the one key play which will do each button uh, each of those back one at a time so so you can do that slowly you also have a tempo so you can if i remember how to do this oh and you've got the octaves as well so if i clear all of that so that's low so you can hear the octaves all working. Uh, there was, how did I get the rhythm working? Cancel all that. Uh, I think, 
Oh, so the tempo is like with that bit there. But you can see the tempo bit works as well. Uh, on top of all of that, uh, I might as well just quickly show you the battery bay. So it's got, it takes uh, four AA batteries. The battery bay is all absolutely fine. Just give you a glimpse in there. I've also, it's not included, but I've also tested the uh, the AC uh, adapter. So what you'll, if you do want to use that instead of batteries, um, you will need... Um, Basically, an adapter that gives you six volts, so either a more, like one of these selected to, selected to six or just one that's six only. Uh, I then found the connector that worked, so that fits into that socket. The size for that is 5.5 slash 21, says on there. And then you need to make sure that you get one where the... Um, where the inner core is negative and the outer sheath is positive. So inner portion there, outer there. And if, you, if you're not familiar, I don't know if you can make out the symbols, it will look like this. You'll have a, a negative next to the circle, meaning the inner bit, and, and a positive next to the, the semicircle bit, that's the outer bit. So uh, I'm not showing you in this video, but that's tested and working. And I've also, just using um, an external speaker here, uh, that's powered on. And I'll just show you that if I plug, plug that into the... Um, the output there, turn it on, you'll hear the sound coming out of there. So that shows that works as well. So there's a load of functions. I've had a really good play with it. Um, really, probably quite a nice collector's item to own for a number of different reasons, be it someone who likes novel calculators, people who like the Casio brand and their in innovation, uh, music lovers, because uh, it's actually quite small and portable and novel, uh, and also anyone who likes synthesizers as well. So that is the um, the Casio VL Tone VL1. Uh, what did I say? 1979, first commercially produced uh, synthesizer box, uh, just reinforced on the hinge. Other than that, quite nice. The carry case, the unit with everything tested as as far as you've seen in that video. You know, you can't, I can't test infinite amounts of options and possibilities, but, you know, it seems pretty good to me. Uh, oh, what do I, what's the other one I did? I shouldn't, shouldn't have, uh, uh, where was the... Uh, there was... Oh, yeah, so the, so I should, I was just wrapping that up, wasn't I? So the rhythm button, if I do that, that's doing the waltz rhythm. That's doing... That's doing four beat to swing. Uh, or memory cancel. So rhythm. There, so you press that, you clear it all, and then when you do the rhythm, they're all different types of rhythms. Sorry about that, I just look, probably not gonna to be too good on the video. So that's the rhythm bit working. So all that's tested. Uh, a few of these are available online. I've just printed it out. So you've got it uh, from the off, which I thought would be a nice to see. But you know, um, the person I printed this from, from had these, it's so creative use only. So that it is included creative, creative use only for the new person. I uh, hope you've enjoyed that on the um, VL Tone and uh, take care of yourself, all the best and see you.